Hey guys, welcome back to Chloe and Co. So for today's video, it is gonna be super cozy. I'm gonna be talking about all things fall. These are my top 10 currently favorite things right now. Honestly, each item I am obsessed with, so I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I love watching these kind of videos. I love figuring out what people are into and what they're currently using at the moment, and especially for each season because I don't know, I think the start of each season is fun to kind of throw some new things into your routine. I'm gonna be sharing some beauty products, some home decor, and also just some random things that I'm loving at the moment. I hope this video kind of gets you in the cozy, calm, fall feeling. I know even talking about all these things is gonna make me just wanna lay back and read a book. Stay tuned for what books I'm talking about. And if any of the things that I talk about today are interesting to you guys, I'm gonna try to link um, everything that I mentioned down below. So make sure you check out the description box for that. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So the first favorite that I'm gonna share with you guys that helps me get in the fall mood is nail polish. Right now I am loving playing with my nail polish, playing with these neutral, darker fall colors. Right now I just have black on my nails, but I'm currently loving playing with these kind of nude but darker colors for fall. And I wanna share this brand with you guys. So these are the Essie nail polishes. And I'm sure you guys have heard of Essie. I love all the colors they have, but these specific ones that twist, these are pretty much like gel. So you buy the top coat and you can buy any of the colors but they have to be the twisted ones that go with the top coat I believe or at least that's what works the best. So you can buy any twisted colored one, they have so many, and then you buy the top coat and I swear this lasts a really long time. If you don't want to go to the salon to get your nails done, or kind of like me, I don't like getting them done all the time because it just ruins my nails. So every once in a while I will go ahead and paint them myself and these actually stay on pretty well. I remember I painted mine white to go to Colorado and I think I did it like the day before and we were there um, for like a long weekend and it lasted through Colorado and even a few days after that before it even really started to chip. And you guys know for doing your nails at home that is like amazing. So I definitely suggest these twisted Essie nail polishes. And I'm just loving these kind of nude colors but also kind of in the darker scheme for fall. I just think that looks really classy and pretty. So the next thing you know I have to talk about it, but is fall candles. I'm sure a lot of you guys already are getting into the mood with fall candles but if you don't think it feels like fall yet, or if you live somewhere like me in Texas where it doesn't really get cool to a little bit later, I suggest getting a fall candle to help put you in the fall mood. So this one I just picked up at Target, and it smells really good. I don't like the super sweet, sweet smells where they smell like dessert. I don't know, that just makes me feel sick. But this one is pumpkin oak leaves and it smells so good and I really like the packaging. It kind of matches that nail color I showed you guys before. But yeah, it just smells really good. It smells like a hint of fall, but not like fall in your face sweet, which I just don't like. This next one I got, I got this one from H-E-B, so I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but the brand is Vineyard, Vineyard Hill Naturals, and the smell is Applewood and Amber. And honestly, this one is probably my favorite. The other one smells a little bit more like fall, but this one smells super clean and kind of woodsy. I just took a sniff and um, a little bit of the wick got on my nose. That's how you know when it smells really good. So these are the candles, and like I said, I'll try to find this one and link it down below because it is so good. And when you light it, it looks really pretty. The light kind of comes through all these little holes and it just smells so good. So this is probably the top thing to get you in a fall mood and your whole house smell like fresh fall. I just love it. Okay, my next current favorite for fall is a really cute, comfy sweat set. So I got this one from Target again and I wore this in my cleaning my closet out video. These are shorts and then it comes with a matching top that's like short sleeve. They also have really cute um, warmer and long sleeve ones at Target. Target is where I go to get my matchy matchy sweat sets. I'm just really loving that matchy look right now. I definitely suggest getting one of these cute sweat sets to wear around the house right now when it starts to get colder outside and you just want to lounge at home but still feel like you kind of are wearing a cute outfit. So I have been wearing this like constantly and I just think it's perfect for the weather starting to get colder. So yes, this is a must have for me right now for fall. The next thing that I'm gonna share with you guys is actually right behind me. It's this pillow right here. 
it says thankful. I think for fall or any changing of the season or any holidays like Christmas or things like that, you always want to add little tidbits of decorations here and there to kind of bring in that mood or bring in that holiday. Instead of buying all these new decorations, I think having a statement pillow is a must-have for when you want to kind of amp up your home decor into whatever season or holiday is going on at the moment. My bed is all plain white as you can see and I did that because I like the white aesthetic but I also like the fact that I can throw anything in or out and it kind of changes the whole look of my bed and changes the whole feeling of it. So my favorite at the moment is having a statement pillow um, and I love this one. This one is from Target. I'm really loving this color too, this kind of like mustardy muted yellow color. I think it's perfect for fall. So adding a cute staple pillow to your bed, to your couch, whatever, I think is a good must have for fall. So yeah, love those staple pillows. My next fall favorite is super cozy and kind of scary, but it is reading some murder mysteries, getting you in that cozy kind of rainy moody mood. Now in the fall, when it starts getting cold and starts raining a little bit, all I want to do is curl up in bed and read a good book. And right now I am obsessed with these murder mysteries because they're not too scary, but they're super interesting to where you literally cannot stop reading and you just have to turn the page and turn the page. That is what happened with me in this one, The Woman in the Window. The last few chapters I like had no idea what the ending was going to be. I didn't know how they could finish it in like 20 pages. It was just so good. So I definitely suggest this book if you haven't read it already. And as you can see, I was really into it. It's like super like folded up and stuff. So I brought it with me everywhere. But I loved this book so much and it's a perfect book to kind of curl up to. So this next one is Something in the Water and this is a good murder mystery as well. Um, this one is in a lot better condition because I haven't actually read the book. I listened to this on Audible, so I listened to it as an audiobook, and again, I could not stop listening to it. Every time I would travel to and from seeing my boyfriend, I listened to this, and even one time when we were traveling, I guess, to my house together, he was listening to it too, and he was super into it, so this is Oh my god, a good book. And it was so good that I wanted the actual book to be able to read again. If you're not a big book reader, I definitely suggest maybe getting Audible or listening to audiobooks. Especially for murder mysteries because, like I said, you just don't want to put them down. You don't want to stop listening. They're just so interesting. Kind of on this subject of books and listening to things, I wanted to talk about podcasts a little bit. So, this is still in line with kind of the murder mystery thing that I'm into right now, but I'm sure you guys have heard of the Crime Junkie podcast. I just started listening to that recently and I am like shook. The stories on there are so scary. Sometimes I do have to turn them off because it's just like, okay, these are true stories. Like all these really happen and they're insane, but for fall, I don't know. It's just fun to listen to. So definitely check out Crime Junkie if you haven't already. And while we're on the subject of podcasts, my cousin and her husband actually started a new podcast recently. It's called The Dirty Mugs Show because they always have dirty coffee mugs in the sink. They've done two episodes so far and they're super good. They kind of talk about anything random and anything kind of trendy. Like they talked about the Enneagram test a little bit. So definitely check out their podcast. They also have a YouTube channel of them actually filming the podcast and it is really interesting like I was captivated the whole time you would think watching a podcast wouldn't keep you that interested but I did not get bored once so definitely check them out on YouTube too the dirty mugs show check out their podcast it's not murder mystery but actually they did talk about true crime a little bit but yeah definitely check it out if you're looking for a new podcast that's maybe not so scary <laughs> next fall favorite is finding a good darker nude lipstick so I am currently wearing this one, and this one is from Maybelline. I love their lipsticks. I think this is the satin finish lipstick, so it's not matte and it's not the shiny. I think it's the satin finish. But they come in like these little containers where it's a little bit foggy. Actually, this may be the matte one. I'm not sure. The color is Untainted Spice. So again, it is like a nude, but it is a little bit darker. Again, just kind of playing with that fall element. I think it looks super pretty. As you guys know, I'm always into nudes for the lip, but I'm not really into the nudes that are like your skin color. I always go a little bit darker, and then for fall, you can go even a little bit darker. So yeah, I'm having fun messing around with kind of these darker nudes. 
So my next fall favorite I'm actually wearing right now, but it is just a simple white turtleneck. I am loving having these simple turtlenecks for fall. It's so easy to layer, and when it does start to get cold outside, you obviously want to wear a lot of layers, but like in Texas, it's cold in the morning and hot in the afternoon, so you have to take things off. And so I just think a simple turtleneck, white, black, tan, gray, whatever, any color really, but I guess my favorite I'm talking about right now is just having a staple solid color turtleneck that you can layer with anything. You can layer it with necklaces and it looks really pretty. And I just love turtlenecks. I think they're super flattering. So if you're looking to add a staple to your closet for this fall, I definitely suggest getting a simple turtleneck. You can dress it up, dress it down, layer it, not layer it. So yes, I'm loving wearing these at the moment. So my next fall favorite has to do with fitness and health. So I know during this time of year with Thanksgiving and Christmas, people are traveling a lot more and eating a lot more. And so with all that, I try to really stay in shape and make sure I'm still doing my daily workouts. And something that helps me do that is the Tone It Up app. If you don't know what Tone It Up is, it was started by two best friends and they just started filming workout videos on the beach in California and now they've gotten pretty big and they have their own app, they have daily workouts, and the app is free, but then you can also pay a monthly subscription and you get endless amounts of videos. You can select which body part you want to work out, select a video with that. I mean, it is just awesome for on the go. They have a lot of workouts that require no equipment. They are super hard. Like every time I do one, I forget how much they actually really do work. Especially when it starts to get cold and I'm a little bit more busy, I definitely can get in a funk about working out, but this has really helped me stay into it. I can do it at home really quick before I go out and need to run my errands. You can bring it with you anywhere, it's on your phone. So this is definitely a must have for me right now for fall with things starting to get busy, starting to eat a little bit more food, starting wanting not to go outside as much because it's cold. So I definitely suggest this if you're wanting to try to stay fit for fall. So my last fall favorite that I'm gonna share with you guys is this moisturizer from Glossier. If you guys know, I love the Glossier brand. I just love their packaging and I use a lot of their stuff and I love every single one of them I've tried so far. But this one I bought maybe about a month ago because I noticed my skin was starting to get a little bit drier because it's starting to get a little bit colder outside. Usually in the winter, you need to kind of change up your skincare a little bit because your skin is more dry. This is the Priming Rich Moisturizer from Glossier. And y'all, it is rich. So if you have oily skin, I don't know if I would suggest this, but as soon as you put it on, it feels so good. My skin drinks it right up and it's not oily. It's just rich. I do have dry skin, so I feel like I do need something pretty rich. Also, it smells so good. I know I say this about a lot of my products. I guess I really care about smell. But something about the smell, I cannot put my finger on it. It's very nostalgic to me. I feel like it's super simple. Like I should be able to name what it reminds me of, but for some reason I cannot. But it just smells super good and clean. And as soon as you put it on, it's so relaxing. Like I said, my skin drinks it right up. So this is definitely a must have for me for fall because it's starting to get a little colder outside. My skin's getting a little bit drier. So if you're looking for a kind of rich moisturizer for winter, I suggest this one times 10. So those are my top 10 fall faves at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it made you feel really cozy. And like I said, if you guys want to check any of these items out, I will try to link them all down below so you guys can. And I'm hoping to make more fall videos. I have been watching fall videos constantly and it just makes me so happy and get in the fall mood. And I just think fall is a really magical time of the year. As always, thanks for stopping by Chloe & Co and taking the time to watch my video. I really honestly appreciate every single one of you who takes the time to watch this. It means so much to me. I just love being able to connect with you guys. I feel like YouTube is a good way for you to kind of see someone's personality and actually be able to like kind of see how they are because Instagram and things like that, you know, we get to curate what we post and what people see. But YouTube, you get to just sit with me and talk with me. So I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. If you guys have any current fall favorites that you want to share, comment down below and let me know. I would love to chat with you guys. And as always, thanks for watching and hope to see you guys soon. Bye.